What's up, guys? It's Paul from the Loose Joints, and I'm just taking a break from the Soda Street Fighter line to do uh, this review. Um, I took a break because I was kind of bored of the Soda line, so this is what I picked up from WonderCon, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys before I forgot. So here it is. Um, they're called the Dual Made EX, which I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, I had the box, but um, somebody threw it away, so I'm just going off of what I know and what I found on these figures. Um, basically what they were were little trading figures before, and um, they weren't based off of anime or anything, they're, they're just mainly toy, uh, blind box toys, and um, the line did so well that this, they decided to make bigger scale versions of them, of them and uh, they created these. But um, this is kind of a failure. Um, it's not worth the money. I got this at a good price, and um, that's the only reason why I bought it. But um, here we go. Um, I don't know the names of these figures. I'd know if I had the box, but I don't. So, here is the Black Maid. Um, it's very cool that they come with uh, these weapons. Uh, you see they're huge. The weapons are huge. I put uh, the red ones for hers. And um, they are gigantic. The detail on the figures are really nice as well. Um, as you can tell, they're proportioned really nicely, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Kind of skinny, but um, I guess that's okay. And um, she she kind of has that Sailor Moon look going on. She's uh, my favorite one out of the two. Oh, by the way, these are um, repaints. Uh, this is a black and white version. They came. Uh, the original was uh, different colors, but um, I haven't found any pictures to see um, what color they actually were. Here we have the white maid. Very cool. You can actually, uh, let me see right here, you can see the straps on her uh, little stocking things, which is a nice touch. She also has big weapons. Here's her spear thing. Uh, what's cool about this is that um, these actually se actually separate. That's why uh, this fell off. But um, these actually separate. Let me actually take that off. Oops. Everything's falling. Falling down. <laughs> anyway, you take this and separate it. Let's see if I can take it off. There you go. And it comes with a little handle and you put the handle um, up here and then it becomes a gun. Which is pretty cool but I like it in um, like the little staff mode. I thought, uh, I think it looks pretty cool that way. These also come with separate hands, but um, of course you're going to have the weapons in their hands because they don't look as great without them. And um, just a little basic details of the figure, really cool. They actually gave you separate heads for them, which is kind of weird though because with, or they only gave one separate head and it was for her. And the only difference is that instead of having this little earpiece on the left, she has on the right. And the face isn't even different either. It's still that blank stare. But, um, yeah, they, they look pretty decent on the shelf. Like, um, I like them for their, dis like, how they display, but other than that, they're not really that great. Um, the price you'd actually pay for these are $35. For $35 you can buy like a Figma, and that is a way better deal. So, um, anyway. Um, articulation is really bad too. I thought these would have good articulation because, um, they're based off of the Psy moving system. If you guys have heard of that, they have, um, pretty decent articulation. But for these, not so much, and that's due to their clothing and etc. With her, it's especially her hair. She, she can't really move that much. She can look down, up, 
the waist has good movement. And um, her arms don't move forward and back, which is kind of weird. And um, basically bends out the arm and then moves here. The legs are also hindered because of their skirts. See, it goes back, forward, and then that much to the side. I wish it could go all the way up like Figma's can, but kind of disappointing at, at the price I paid for them. <clears throat> I'm fine with that. And these these actually only came out last year. I thought this would this was like an old figure, but they came out in 2008, and I was surprised that the quality of these figures and how bad they were. But whatever. Um, what's I think what justified the price point that you'd actually buy these figures are the types of accessories it comes with. Came out, came with these, those weapons, like these big ass weapons. I chose the two, the four biggest weapons to give them, and uh, it also came with more accessories. Um, came with like swords right here, daggers. Came with two other like baton or gun type sword things, and these are all translucent, which is really nice. And, um, came with a separate head for her and separate hands. But, um, yeah, they came with a lot of accessories that you could put in their hands. But other than that, I wouldn't say it's worth it. Also, when you take them out of the package, they're, they're also, um, separated. And you'd actually have to build them from the waist to the head. And then, um, I think that's it. But, yeah. Nice display pieces, other than that, I'd say do not pick these up unless you're getting them for a really, really, really cheap price. Because $35 does not cut it. And you can't buy these separately, these are actually, both both come in one box. Which, um, I like that they both came in it, but still, that's basically $15 plus tax each. $15 can get you, let's say... Like, a really cheap Revoltech, maybe. <laughs> and, yeah. So here they are. The Dual Made EX. These are the repaint versions. Um, ni nice detail. Articulation sucks. Balls. But, so far, I'm, I'm a bitch when it comes to hot girl figures. <laughs> so, oh, and... What I forgot to mention is that they're really small. So let me give you, here's Revoltech Paco. Uh, let me put that down. Let me put it next to them actually, right here. So you can tell Paco towers over them. So I'd say Revoltechs are way better, a way better choice than these girls and um, I guess that's it so I guess I'll catch you guys next time I think my next review is going to be on Soda Blanca and um, I'll talk to you guys later